Hey guys, welcome to an early morning edition, very early, it's 5.30 a.m., uh, early morning edition of Meanwhile in the Ham Shack. And uh, this is sort of a special uh, Meanwhile in the Ham Shack because I have a scheduled contact that I'm going to make in about 15 minutes, about a half hour, something like that, with a station in Tasmania, which is really exciting. That's a long way away. It's 9,662 miles, I believe, uh, to where this guy's at. Uh, and we're going to make the attempt. Uh, so I'm excited about that. So uh, hopefully it'll happen. If it does happen, you'll see this video. So I've got a couple of things I want to show you before I actually go and make the contact. Um, first thing, uh, for the amateur radio guys, uh, I'll be using an NN100D uh, SDR radio into a wire, uh, basically an inverted V off-center fed window. And uh, for those of you who are not ham radio operators, I'm using a wire. <laughs> it's that simple. Uh, I'm going to be using 25 watts. And uh, for folks that aren't amateur radio operators, think about uh, your light bulb. Is 100 watts now cut that brightness down to a quarter that's how much energy I'm using in order to send this signal so I'll show you the radio interface this is the radio interface all set up on my computer and ready to go uh, I'll go ahead and turn the radio on and there we go and if you look over here if you follow my cursor which may or may not be showing up uh, there is some traffic here on the right hand side it looks to me like it's JT65 protocol and if you don't know what that is just think of it as another really funky way to send short text and uh, also I have the encoding and decoding software which I'm using to encode and decode the messages I'll be sending and that is here and this is called DM780 and in this area here where I'm typing a large number of F's uh, that is where I'm going to be typing my messages and sending them out to the radio, uh, which hopefully will be received in Tasmania. Now, um, this is why I want you to full screen the YouTube video, because you will not be able to see the detail on these screens if you're looking at it in a little tiny window. So, hopefully this will go without a hitch and you'll be seeing a video. So this is Michael, KD8TUT in the ham shack and i'll be like back like in a split second from your perspective uh assuming this contact actually happens thanks we'll see you in a second it is now 29 seconds after 1000 zulu i got him I got him. Tasmania. Tasmania. That's right. Tasmania. Let's see if I can get back to him. Now I'm going to start transmitting while I'm typing. This is always fun. This is fantastic. I think we could do without the air conditioner, right? Okay. Let's see if this worked. Oh, this is great. This is exciting stuff. This is exciting stuff. Oh yeah, this is what being a ham is about. So he's decoding on the other side. Might take him a while depending on what band conditions are like. We'll see.
Come on, Rob. Come on, buddy. Now, he's probably digging deep on his side. Some of these protocols, uh, you can set them up to really dig into the radio static and the, the, uh, the signal. Uh, and uh, we may, uh, uh, he may be running uh, with a sync depth of eight or more, uh, which could take a while for him to decode. So let's see if he actually gets back to me. I hope he does. This is so exciting. Yeah, it looks like it looks like I got it. Let's see if we get decode. We're getting decode. Not perfect decode. Oh, we are getting close to perfect decode. I'm preparing to respond again now. Okay, he's got good copy. That's either a typo or... Uh, no, it's probably a typo. I'm 11 decibels below the noise. Wow, I'm so I'm so jazzed right now. This is great. I've got him 1 dB above. And he stopped transmitting, so I'm going to begin transmitting and type while the transmitter is catching up. Uh, let's see, a slash n would be better. Uh, I'm using 25 watts uh, into an off-center fed window. Center fed window up 35 feet. Uh, radio is an Apache. NN 100D, 100D. Uh, back to you. Close this contact out like so. And so now, <clears throat> what happens while the the encoder is catching up? Um, I literally uh, have just basically with a little bit of. Uh, the bracketed stop means that when the radio hits that spot, it'll automatically stop transmitting. Now, this was a bit longer text than I uh, sent previously, so it might take him a little longer to decode it. My decoding isn't running as deep as his, uh, just because I don't have it juiced up uh, to that point, so it's not taking as long. Uh, but he's probably, I'm assuming he's running at a sync depth of 4 or 8. That's pretty exciting. And uh, if you go and you look, of course, if you look at Power SDR, you've got, <clears throat> this is the radio interface. You can see activity to one side of me and some activity to the other side of me. Uh, but where we're at is basically uh, basically unused. So we've got the frequency all to ourselves, which is fantastic. And that makes for a great QSO, which is always a lot of fun. So he's gonna kick. He'll he'll probably kick back to me here in the next few seconds. And uh, that that's that's it. I'm I'm not gonna make you guys sit here for the entire conversation. Uh, although, uh, if you're really interested in it, I'll post the entire video of it. He's gonna come back to me now, and we'll chit chat a little bit about technology things. But that's a contact between Lake Michigan Beach, Michigan, and Tasmania, Australia on 25 watts <laughs> 25 watts unbelievable and a wire 
So that's what we do as hams. This is one of the things that we do. Uh, if you're not a ham, there's crazy stuff like this. So with that, I'll say thank you for watching. And uh, go Tasmania. We'll see you again soon. Bye now.